Can we just talk about the last 20 pounds and the frustration? <laughs> Hi friends, and welcome to Keto with Libby. I am Libby, and I'm on a journey to health using the ketogenic lifestyle. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I post new videos every Tuesday about keto, my keto weight loss, my keto journey. Um, I try to do some keto facts in there as well. I also do keto coaching. So if any of that interests you, please stick around. In August of 2021, so this year, a few months ago, it is October now, I hit my 40 pound weight loss mark and I was so ecstatic. It was like this huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. I hit my 40 pounds. I was like, yes, I got to 190 and I'm so excited to be in the 180s. But let me tell you, over the last two months, I have just maintained that 40 pound weight loss, which again, I am very, very happy about. But oh my gosh. I have just been so set in this like maintenance mindset, if you will. Like I'm just maintaining my 40 pound weight loss, enjoying my life. I have not been tracking my macros this last like three or four weeks, maybe. I've been making sure everything I eat is keto and I keep a running number in my head about net carbs every day but I haven't been tracking. I have just been living my best keto life. And it is time for me to hunker down and try to lose those last 20 pounds. Now, you might ask, Libby, why do you want to lose these last 20 pounds so badly? Like, it'll come off when it comes off, it'll happen when it happens, trust the process, all the things, right? Like, yes, I know that it's just the number on the scale. I still feel amazing, but with the holidays and winter coming up, I do not want myself to get content. Does that make sense? I don't want to settle for my 40 pounds. I have goals. I have weight loss goals and I have health goals that I need to meet. At my current weight still, I am still overweight. I'm much happier where I'm at now, but I am still overweight and that is not good for my overall health. And I do use keto for weight loss and overall health, so why not try to achieve those goals as best as I can? Here is my plan to lose these last dreaded 20 pounds. Now, these can be for keto, for any lifestyle that you're doing, but some of them are specifically to keto, like this first one. I am going to plan on keeping my carbs strictly at 20 grams of carbs a day. I notice the less carbs that I eat, the better I feel, and obviously the quicker I lose weight. Now, 20 is a little low for some people. 25 is a pretty good number for most people. But I just think that 20 is kind of my sweet spot where I feel really good. Now this next one is something I don't usually struggle with, but again, the winter months are coming. We all get much less active in the winter time, and I just don't want to let myself get as sedentary as I have in the past because we all know the winter weight that we pack on. Winter was a huge struggle for me um, before keto, because I would sit inside and just binge eat all the comfort foods, you guys, all of them. So this next one is going to be staying active, whether that looks like maybe doing some more exercises at home because I'm not, you know, going out to the horses and riding more and walking around the field more and just doing my everyday kind of things that I can do outside. Just making sure I am moving my body as much as I would be moving it during the summertime. So if you have followed me for any point of time, you know that mindset is something that I have found to be very important with weight loss in general. And I have an entire video about weight loss mindset and I will post it in the cards above and on the screen here. Um, but again, keeping my mindset in the right place. The last couple months I have been in more of this maintenance mode mindset of, yeah, you've lost 40 pounds, let's, let's keep it there, let's enjoy ourselves a little bit. Take a little break from the weight loss aspect of it, which is completely fine. I feel like I really kind of needed that 
Um, but now I really want to focus more again on, okay, let's hunker down, let's do this last 20 pounds, and then we'll reassess our mindset and goals from there. I am going to be limiting my dairy as well as my cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower just because they really bloat me a lot and I again I don't feel my best after I eat them. I've kind of noticed with cutting out all of my things that would inflame me all the carbs and the sugars in my life that were causing inflammation like that initial drop was amazing but now I'm kind of even more fine-tuning it a little bit and I have noticed that when I eat certain things like too much dairy, too many cruciferous vegetables, honestly even just any cruciferous vegetables lately, I have just been really bloated and I don't feel my best. So I'm kind of fine tuning those things. So I will be limiting myself on those aspects as well. So this last one is maybe if you're starting keto, like just starting keto, don't listen to this one. <laughs> But I started my journey one year ago. It's October 8th today. I started a year and four days ago. And I used the substitute sweet treats, the pumpkin pies, the casseroles, like all of the sweet treats that I would normally have on the holidays, I made substitutes for those. And I think that was beyond important. That really helped my success because there was a pumpkin pie sitting on the table, but then there was my pumpkin pie that I knew I could eat, so I was never once tempted to touch it. And I think that was so, so, so important the first like two, three months. So that's why I say if you're just beginning, maybe don't listen to this one. But for this holiday season, in order for me to achieve my goals, I need to cut back on those because I do tend to overeat on them. I tend to make them and they are gone very, very quickly, which they always have, you know, they're never zero carbs. They always have some carbs in them and I always overeat it. So it's just much better for me this holiday season to meet these goals to completely, not maybe completely eradicate them. I'm, I'm thinking I'm still going to make like a pumpkin pie or something and definitely a sweet potato casserole because that was bomb.com. But <laughs> I am not going to use them as much as I did because I made a lot of sweet treats last year, like a lot. So that is where I am at. That is my goals for the next few months. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Drop me a comment of what has helped you if you've lost the last 20 pounds or what are you struggling with with these last 20 pounds? It doesn't even have to be 20. It can be 10, 15, whatever, 5. I don't care. Just what has helped you kind of overcome that hump and really achieve your goals? Because I would love to know. I'm hoping all of this stuff helps me achieve those last 20 pounds. But thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.